An important concept about functions is that of continuity and differentiability. So first I'm going to talk about continuity because differentiability uh, depends on continuity. So continuity needs to be uh, there first for a function to be differentiable. So first let's recap what continuity means. f of x is continuous at some point x equals a if the limit from the left and from the right of a of the functions are equal. So that just means that this limit needs to exist. So this condition implies that the limit exists, but the other condition is that the limit as you approach, uh, as x approaches a of f of x, has to actually equal f of a. So those two conditions together define continuity. So what I've graphed over here is a, a function in which this first condition is satisfied, but the second one is not. If you take the limit from the left or the right here, since it's going to that uh, open circle, a removable discontinuity, this limit from the left and the right are definitely the same. But that limit does not equal f of a, because f of a here does not exist. So this case, or this condition is not satisfied for this type of function, and that's why that's not continuous. You can see, if your limits from the left and the right are different, you're automatically not continuous, and that's a jump or maybe an asymptote. So those are your types of discontinuities. So you can see that if this circle was filled in, now we have a continuous function because at A, not only is the limit from the left and the right the same, but that the function uh, has that exact value that the limit is approaching. So that's continuity. So let's get into uh, differentiability. So one thing you can think about <clears throat> is that if a function is not continuous at some x equals a, it's automatically not differentiable there. So in order for a function to be differentiable, it first needs to be continuous, and then we'll talk about what else needs to happen. So f of x is differentiable. So first, like I said, f of x is continuous at x equals a, and so the, now the other condition for differentiability, uh, other than that it has to be continuous, is that the limit of the derivative has to be uh, the same from the left and the right. The limit as x approaches a from the left of f prime of x, the derivative has to equal the limit as x approaches a from the right of f prime of x. And this is implying that the limit as x approaches a of f prime of x exists. So not only does it have to be continuous, but the slopes, essentially, have to approach the same value from the left and the right. So let's look at a function that's continuous, but not differentiable. And the easiest example of this is a function you're probably very familiar with. And this is the function y equals absolute value of x. So, this function is definitely continuous because at any given point, your function exists and it has the limits the same from both sides. Well, let's check if this function is differentiable. The only place where we might have a problem here is right at the point. So let's use our definition. Is f of x continuous at, in this case, x equals 0? Yes, it is. Is the limit as you take the slopes from the left and the right the same? Well, as we approach 0 from the left, the slope of this graph is a static negative 1. As we approach 0 from the right on this graph, the slope is a static 1. So this would be negative 1 for this graph, and this would be 1. Those things are not equal, and therefore this function is not differentiable at x equals 0. So differentiable is a more specific case of continuity, essentially. So again, if something's not continuous, you can automatically throw out 
uh, that it that it's not differentiable. Um, but if something's continuous, it then may or may not be differentiable if this next uh, condition.